city of Iloilo is a highly urbanized city in Panay Island in the Philippines and the capital city of the province of Iloilo. Festivities, colonial churches, and foods can also be found in this noble city. Speaking of foods, the town of Molo in Iloilo is famous for its pancit molo. Pancit molo recipe is an adaptation of wonton soup. It is a specialty of the town of Molo in Iloilo, a well-known district in the province. Unlike other pancit, pancit molo is not dry but soupy and it does not make use of long, thin noodles but instead wonton wrappers made from rice flour. Pancit molo is a Filipino recipe that makes you wonder why it was called pancit. Pancit means noodles but actually the dish didn't use any ingredient of noodles in its recipe because it uses either wonton, shomai, or molo wrappers. Also, most of the pancit recipe are dry while this pancit molo is a soup. Pancit molo is made with broth, ground pork dumplings, and shredded chicken. Chef Peach will teach us how to make, wrap, and cook the superb pancit molo. Hi, I'm Chef Peach from San Miguel Culinary Center, and today I'm going to teach you how to make pancit molo. There are three parts to this recipe. First is we're going to make the stock. Second is we're going to make the molo balls. And third is the how to assemble the soup. What I have here, I have my stock already boiling. I have pork bones, chicken meat with bones, and then head of shrimp, which I strained a while ago. Shrimp juice, in other words. So all you have to do is allow this to boil and allow the chicken to cook through. This has been boiling for about almost one to two hours already. Now if you see scum on top, all you want to do is take it out because you don't want to, be, to have an impure soup. Just remove the scum. What you want to achieve in this molo soup is clear broth. So if you see bubbles or scum, you just take this out. And when the chicken is already cooked, remove the chicken and allow this to cool before you shred it into pieces. What you want to do next is to strain the stock, remove the bones, and just have a clear broth. Uh, let's now move on to the second part of our recipe, which is just simply by combining the ground meat, sugar, black pepper, spring onions, soy sauce, meat and eggs. Okay, so all you want to do is combine everything and allow this to chill for 30 minutes to 1 hour. So you just want to have a firm mixture before assembling it into the molo wrapper. When the meat is already firm, we can assemble the molo balls. First, you get a piece of molo wrapper, get a teaspoonful of the mixture and place it at the center. Then you seal the edges with a mixture of egg and flour, like this. Okay, when everything is done, you can put this in the chiller and rest it for 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, while the mala balls are in the fridge, we can proceed in making the soup. So all you have to do is heat your pan, pour in some oil and margarine, saute some garlic, add in your boiled flaked chicken, just saute. Then add your boiled shrimp, just stir over medium heat, season with salt and pepper. Just stir for one to two minutes. Okay, this is the stock that was strained. If you can see, it's already clear. While the stock is boiling, you can transfer the sautéed uh, chicken and shrimp mixture into the stock. I think this is enough and allow this to boil for a few more minutes. When the strained broth is already boiling, you just want to drop in the molo balls and cook for 15 to 20 minutes more. Okay, our soup is now ready. You can serve this with the molo balls, shredded chicken pieces and shrimp. You can top this with spring onions and some fried garlic. Okay, there's your pancit molo. 
Hope you enjoyed today's recipe. Until next time.